<laughs> now, Hubert, if you would record your classes, that would be cool if you could put them on YouTube. Yeah. I taught Friday's classes from my hotel room in Atlanta. Ain't that neat? I thought it was neat. And guess what Saturday's session was on? What? Poster. Poster. I think that, at this point, I'm thinking I'm in a time warp, okay? I'm thinking <laughs> I'm, I'm in the future or I'm in the past. I can't think of which one it is. There was no, none, no sessions on technology in the classroom, none. There was one cat, he was making videos, and he was using something back from the Flintstones to make videos with. You know, the bird in the, in the, in the TV with the candle, you know. <laughs> You should, you should have got up and uh, lectured. I got left. I left it. It was it was ridiculous. <laughs> what was so sad? What made me what made me get up and leave was there was like fifteen people. There was thirty people in the in the little conference <laughs> session, and fifteen of them were going, "Oh my gosh, that's great! Wow!" <laughs> I don't blame you. I got up and walked out. <laughs> We all followed you. Um, Hubert? No. <laughs> what? For these tests, is it just like the My Labs Plus where it like um it gives you a different question for like every individual test? So it's algorithmic, yes. Tests? You yeah, see okay. the eight, you see the eight is red? Mm -hmm. That eight will change. Oh, okay. Every anything that's red will change. The question will stay the same. Now, you may do this test today, Miss Shuttleworth. You may do it today and do B, and your number one. This may this question right here may be number fifteen. Okay, so it's going to reorder. It's going to change the numbers, and it's also I've got about ten questions per question. So if I, give, if I give you a 10 question test, you've got 100 questions to choose from. And they algorithmically generate, and they put them in different order. So we're talking real snowflakes here. You're not going to pull up the same test beside each other. You're not going to do that. Okay? So it will change. Evaluate the function. What does the word evaluate mean? Uh, uh, Plug and... Plug and chug. Plug and chug. So I'm I'm not going to insult y'all's intelligence, but one plus one plus eight is what? Nine. Nine. I'm I'm going to do that first one for you. Y'all should be able to do that. <coughs> Next question. What's the domain of anything that's not a radical or or rational? All real numbers. All real numbers. What else is it asking? Is that it? Oh, God, I can't believe I put that question on there. Let, hey, me, let me edit this test. Yes. Hey, hey, that's a good question right no, there. No, it's not. That doesn't, that doesn't help your critical fantastic. thinking. Fantastic. Oh, we appreciate that one. Oh, God, look at there. Find the slope of the line. <laughs> now, they are going to get a little bit more challenging. I mean, well, I'm just trying to get you to the calculus, okay? Hey, we appreciate it. Yeah, no, you don't. Y'all gonna bash yeah. me because I didn't have posters in this classroom. <laughs> Hubert needs yeah, to like use posters to in his classroom. Honestly, it would provide a better learning environment. Yeah, <laughs> innovative. Don't forget the word innovative. <laughs> innovative, innovative teaching. Yeah, innovative T Rex teaching. <laughs> what is four minus zero? Um, what is six minus Earth? zero? Two-thirds. Four, six, which is two-thirds. Okay, y'all can handle that. Yes. Explain how the graph of G is obtained from the graph of F. Okay, basically ignore those directions and compare the graphs and what are they doing. This is your family of graphs. This is your vertical and horizontal shift. Y'all should be able to tell me what's happening here. Since the eight is connected to the X, that is a horizontal what? 
Shift. Shift. What is different about the horizontal shift? It's always the what? Starts with an O. <clears throat> B. Opposite. Opposite. So a positive eight means what? <clears throat> Negative. Left. Yeah. Eight yeah. units. Yeah. If the eight is not connected to the X, if it's connected to the X squared, then it is not a horizontal shift. It is a what? <clears throat> A vertical, a vertical shift. shift, and the vertical shift aligns with the sign, so that means up eight. Okay, everybody should be able to get that one. Let, I'm gonna answer the bonus questions, and let's see if you're totally clueless what you make on my test, so we can make fun of you after the mm -hmm. test if we find out what you made. Okay, <laughs> what is Hubert? What is Hubert's email and cell number? Only ones that are actually emailed cell numbers. Actually, yeah. Why does Hubert not? It's not supposed to group them up like this, but we are dealing with a sundial here. Why does Hubert not entertain the following topics at the end of the semester? Extra points, yeah. bonus points, or dropping more grades? Because <laughs> he thinks I'm a loser and I'm going to live the ditch. I will take that. I like I like all three of these. <laughs> When is the last day? This is what I've got to fix. But you only see there's only one, one, and this is the offensive question. This is the one that the student said, I'm offended. Why are you offended? Well, you're making fun of September 11th, and my cousin's brother's cousin's aunt's sister kid died that day. But what about December 7th? What's that? And then the woman said, I'm making fun of the Bible. You're Excuse me, but there is a movie called Judgment Day. Dang old Arnold Schwarzenegger. Dang old Terminator. When is the week of exams? Well, that's going to change. I'm going to change that. How do I know when my grade? How do I know what my grade is in Hubert's class? Maybe go to the grade book and website. That one's only one that equals 100. It's not supposed to be this. I don't know why it's gripping them. Maybe because I'm not, it's not a test. I'm reviewing it as a teacher. Maybe that's why. What does WebAssign give me for a grade when I fail to complete the assignment? And what does that incomplete grade, incomplete grade do to my final grade? This is the student that said, I didn't know I got a zero on an incomplete, you know, whatever. <laughs> And the checks in the mail. When is the best time to check grade book? These are different from my These are better. <laughs> After the death of your fifth grandmother. There we go. Solve the equation by factoring, or you can use what? Completing what? Completing the square. Square. I tell students ignore the directions here and just do completing the square, but I can't pull up a lot of completing the squares because this book sucks. So I have to use what they give me. So you can use whatever you want. What is that? Dang old five and four? Be a positive five and a negative four. Yeah, yeah, you're right. Negative five and four, there you go. All right, try this one. Now you can write these two down, but we're gonna do this one. I'm gonna do it by completing the square. Tell you a story. I, I taught my eight o'clock class, uh, nine o'clock class Friday, and from the hotel room, and I went to the conference at ten o'clock, and I went to check in, and I asked the guy that's the head of the conference. I said, I know this is unrealistic. I said, or out of the ordinary. I said, but do you have a classroom that I could teach from at twelve twenty? And I knew, after I asked the question, I knew within five seconds that I was barking up the wrong tree. There was this look of confusion and 
you know, like you don't teach here, uh, what do you, I don't, approval, uh, triplicate. Uh, there was all these facial expressions. I knew I said, forget it. I just told him, I said, forget it. He said, no, 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 what are you talking about? You don't teach here. I said, I teach in Pendleton, South Carolina, in Anderson. I said, Pendleton, tri -County. I said, I was going to use my laptop and my document cam. I didn't want to have to go back to the hotel and I brought my laptop and everything. Would it be, I, I don't, I got to get approval. I, I said, forget it. That's okay. I was just wanting to use a room and an electrical outlet. That's all I was wanting to use, but that's okay. Hmm. Screw them. I really think that I'm in a, that I'm, I think really I'm in 1972 or something. I really <laughs> think that. And I think we're all in a, a work bubble. <laughs> It's a simulation. It's like dang old matrix. Yeah. Except for dang old 30 year matrix. I'm in dang old first <laughs> stages. I'm in the Donkey Kong matrix. <laughs> I ain't kidding you. It's getting so frustrating when you walk up to somebody and say, can I use a room? You know, I got my own equipment. I just want to go in so I won't have to, because I mean, traffic in Atlanta or outside of Atlanta on two, is it 285? Or 385. I can't remember which one. You know, Greenville wants to be like Atlanta, so it names everything after. So I don't know which one it is. It's 285, isn't it? <coughs> Y'all don't know, do you? Yeah, anyway, yeah. it's on 285 toward Macon. And uh, there's like four exits down. But the whole point is, I mean, it's a 30-minute track. If you hit the traffic, it's only like 15 minutes, 15 or 20 minutes from the college to the hotel. But still, round trip. But after I went to the first couple of sessions, I was like, I didn't really care if I missed them because they were all ancient anyway. So, okay, I'll shut up. Y'all want to learn math? I'm sorry. Somebody's gonna be. So, I don't know about it, man. And then, and then I sent an email to my supervisor with this polycom. Said, taught, taught my nine o'clock and my twelve twenty without a hitch, even on the hotel wireless, it went fine. He sent it to the, like, the vice president, and the vice president couldn't figure out how I was teaching it from a hotel room. <laughs> See why I get frustrated? Yeah. I mean, Daniel's been out for what? How many of you have ever taught somebody older than you how to use a phone? Okay, y'all know what I'm talking about. That's what I'm living in. I'm living in a universe like that. You only spent, what, an hour or two explaining them how to do it? I live in that universe. <laughs> and what makes it so bad is I'm in education. It's a damn, it's, you know what it is? It's not only the Russians, but it's the Russians and the Nigerians. Y'all seen the Nigeria. news lately? What? <laughs> Yeah, Google, Google the actor and the Nigerians. Just uh, Google it. Oh, that James. Oh, Justin. Yeah, the Justin. idiot. Yeah. He hired his two Nigerian friends to make a racist attack against him. Yeah, now I want somebody to think about that for a minute. How <laughs> smart is that? If I, Hubert McClure, I'm a white guy, okay? If I'm going to get somebody to harass me racially, do you think I'm going to pick two other white guys? <laughs> they could be Clay Dixon. I just don't understand. Somebody needs to explain that to me. 15x squared plus 8x minus 16. Damn Nigerians. It's the Nigerians, man. It is. It is. It's, they're racist. Are you going to add Nigerian to your bonus question now? <laughs> and he hired, he hired one of them was on the set with him in the, in the movie that he's in, or the show. Oh, yeah, the, in the show. Uh, what is that? Uh, <laughs> I think we should just quit. What do y'all think? Yes, I agree. Get some... <laughs> 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 <
<laughs> yeah, let's go get Mexican and talk to the department head. Yeah. You talk to my department head. What are you going to tell her? I suck. <laughs> Hubert needs uh, posters. <laughs> Hubert, Hubert didn't attend all the conference calls. <laughs> what did he say? I couldn't hear. <laughs> yeah, it was about a ten dollar conference. I paid sixty dollars to go to the conference registration. It wasn't worth five. Oh my word! You paid sixty dollars for that. Wouldn't even let me use a room. That is good. <laughs> all right. <laughs> I'm going to factor out a 15 and totally confuse everybody. X squared plus 8 over 15. X plus blank is equal to 16 plus 15 times blank. 8 over 15 divided by 1 half or divided by 2 over 1 multiplied by 1 half squared is equal to 64 over what? Dang old 30, that's 900. Somebody check my math. Of course it is. 64 over 900. Somebody divide 900 by 15. Let's see if it's not like 6 or something. It is 60. 60. Okay, so that'll cancel. 60. Make life easy. That'll make that a 60. So we can come back to that in just a minute. Somebody multiply 16 times 60 for me, so I'll have that. <coughs> This is shortcut number one, so that's 15 times x plus 8 over 30, right? Quantity squared is equal to, and what is 60 times 16? 960. 960 divided by 60 plus 64 divided by 60. And that's going to be 15 times x plus 8 over 30. Quantity squared is equal to 1,024 over 60. Somebody check my math. So that means we, what are they asking for? Are they asking just for the x intercepts? Okay, so we just need to divide by 15, which divide by 15 over 1, multiply by 1 over 15. So that's going to give us x plus 8 over 30. Quantity squared is equal to 1,024 <laughs> over what is 60 times 15? Didn't you say that was 900? 900. 900? I can't remember. Is it 900? It is. Okay. Take the square root of both sides. Somebody take the square root of 1,024. What do you get? I'm sorry, what? So that's going to be x plus 8 over 30 is equal to positive or minus, positive or negative, 32 over 30. Bring that 8 over. What's, at, what's 32 plus 8? So that's 4 thirds. Be negative. Yeah. Right? Right. No, that's a minus. I'm sorry, minus. It's a minus 8 because that's a plus. Okay, negative 32, that'd be a negative 4 thirds. And what is ne what is positive 32 minus 8? Dang old 24? Yeah. And 24 over 30 comes out to be 4 fifths. That's your answer. Yeah. Now, of course, you could have factored out. You could have reversed FOIL, and you could have done that thing that y'all used to sing to in high school, the quadratic formula or whatever. You could have used that. Okay? Should you be able to go between all four of those ways? <coughs> yes. You get the calculus and they want you to find the x-intercepts so or they want you to find, boom, you should be able to do it just like that. See, I told y'all that it's going to be that big a deal. Y'all spazzing? Spazzing. You go to work, taking drugs? I mean, just all kinds of crazy stuff. Pure desperation. Yeah. All right, now what do you do here? Now, we haven't covered one of these. So, what do you do? Quit? Yes. 
There is a S word in algebra. Does anybody know what the S word is? S U B. Subtract. Not subtract. Substitute. Substitute. U substitution. So I'm going to use U substitution. I'm going to change this into U is equal to X squared. Therefore, this is a mathematical symbol. This is not the predator's targeting system. Okay? The predator. That's not offended anybody, is it? That's a movie. Okay? Okay, therefore, if U is equal to X squared, how can I rewrite this? U squared. U squared. Minus 5U plus 4. U, that's it. And now you've got reverse FOIL. Go ahead and do that. Put a star beside this one because you need to try a couple of these. Just make up something. The reason you need to try it, make, get, just get used to it. I don't know why I haven't seen it in homework. Evidently, y'all know how to do it. Or you haven't done the freaking homework, one of the two. But 15 of y'all have done the homework, so 15 or 16 of you. Winners. So that kind of that kind of narrows it down. <laughs> To the 15 that haven't done the homework, what are y'all? Losers. Losers. There you go. Actually, you're just basically procrastinators. <coughs> or you've had five dead grandmothers. <laughs> or what? Six flat tires? <laughs> or what's the other excuses y'all use? You work 80 hours a week? Yes. I used to have a student that came in every day, and he went to school with me. We went to school together when I was like in junior high and high school. This is the kind of person you never ask how they're doing. You know what I'm talking about? <laughs> you know, my ex-mother-in-law, I never asked her how she was doing. I always said, hey, I did say, how you doing? This person would work 160 hours a week. How many hours are there in a week? 40. He would work 160 hours. Finally, I told him, I said, why don't you just quit school? That's where I got the everybody that needs to quit. Because he just comes to school every day and like he was just going to die, you know. And, I, and he was wanting somebody to ask I never would ask him. <laughs> and finally, he would just say, oh, I'm sorry, Hubert, I had to work 180 hours yesterday. Okay. You're an idiot. All right, so what do we got? One and four. They go negative one, negative four. That means a positive one and a what? Positive. So that means you, right? Okay. So you've got to figure out use x squared is equal to these numbers. So x squared is equal to one, and x squared is equal to four. Everybody with me? With. Because this is what. Everybody get it? And what is the answer? Positive and negative one. Positive and negative what? Now, <coughs> chances are when you have a when you have a fourth root, you're gonna cross the x-axis pretty much four places. When you have a fifth root. You're going to cross it about five places. How many turns does this one have in it? What's four minus one? Three. three. So it's got three turns in it. So this function, if you graph x to the fourth minus x squared, now what can you tell by hand? I'm going to just write that down for you because you need to know this if you had not picked up on it through like seven math courses. If you haven't picked up on it in seven math courses, I don't think you're going to pick up on it. But I'm going to go ahead and try to show it to you one more time. Now, by hand, you can't, I mean, you can graph it if you do like 15,000 calculations and you graph it. But by hand, you know it's to the fourth power. So that means the ending behavior looks like that because it's to the even power. 
You know that has a y-intercept of 4. Y-intercept is 0, comma 4. You know that it has three turns in it. Uh, 4 minus 1 is equal to 3. So it's got three turns. And you know it crosses the x-axis four places. Okay, so you know that much. So you know it looks something... You know it's got an ending behavior. I'm just drawing it like this and like that. And you know it's got four, so it could look something like this. Okay. Of course, I have more than three turns, but I'm, let's see. I know this one, two, so I've got it way off. Let me let me redo that. Thank you. You just have to graph it. They know that the y-intercept's right here. And so you know it's crossing at negative 1 and negative 2, don't you? So it's got negative 1, negative 2, and then positive 1, positive 2. So it's, I don't know. I don't know what it looks like. 1, 2, 3, something like that. Yep. So graph it. And see what it looks like. Rationalize the denominator. That's a good one. So let's do that one together. Ms. Shuttleworth, are you having spastic convulsions yet? <laughs> no, I just got hot. In other words, you feeling okay about the test? Oh, yes. So you can come off the drugs? <laughs> that doesn't kill it. Use some help. I'm going to fail this test. I'm going to fail it. Look, I got a zero. Oh, my God. <laughs> but y'all are conditioned. I know that. Y'all are conditioned because a lot of the, the, the constructors y'all have had in the past... They're freaking crazy. And when I, I mean crazy, I mean just do stuff just to try to kick you when you're down. You know, I'm not like that. I try to, even though I discourage y'all and try to get y'all to quit, I try to help y'all. That's what I'm going to do. What's the conjugate of the square root of 6 plus y? Square root of 6 minus Thank you, one person. I appreciate that. And what do we have on the bottom? Shortcut number what? Number 3. How do you say angle 3 in Spanish? Trey. Trey. That's what I thought. I have you. So, up top, do we really care about what's top? No, we don't care about that. So, y times the square root of 6 minus the square root of y. And on the bottom, what happens to the radicals? You get 6 minus what? Y. Uh, now, technically, you're finished, but they want you to simplify and distribute. And if you do that, that's fine. Let's see what they do. What they've done, they've used uh, exponents, y to the two halves times 6 to the 1 half minus 6 to the 1 half. I'm sorry, y to the 1 half, sorry. <coughs> over 6 minus y. I wrote everything as a rational exponent and now distribute. Well, these are not the same bases, so you just write the square root of 6 times y minus, what's 2 halves plus 3 plus 1 half? That's an answer. That's an answer. And if you wanted to put this y times, you could write that, but either one of those is fine. So will they 
take the first answer, or do we have to do the answer with the exponent? If you don't get this right, you see me after class. If you think you've got the answer correct, see me after class, and I will take either one of those answers. But try to do it the way that I did it right there. So, you know, you don't have to come see me. I mean, I don't want to have to change 30 different tests, okay? So do the best you can to try to get it to work. You see how to write it. That's one of the reasons I go over the test is so you can see how they want the answers, whoever asked that question, um, so you can see where to take it, okay? Next one. That's a good question. Logarithms. I told you logarithms were going to be on here. You can't go through business math without logarithms and exponentials. So, and there's two questions right there. The second one is another U substitution. The first one is an expression. So you're just going to rewrite it. Oh, now the guy that set up his own racial harassment has just been dropped out of the show Empire. Did anybody ever watch that show? I know what it is. Okay, well, he's been dropped. He's been dropped. He has no job. Does he deserve, he deserve a job? It. No. Well, Because he's the, not too bright. <laughs> the rumor was that they were going to drop him from the show. So, like, he orchestrated this whole thing to get some attention. Well, now Absolutely. he's done confirmed it because it says on here he's just been dropped by Fox. He deserves it. Trying to create That's what I need. Maybe I need to go out and cause a stink about me, and maybe I won't have to teach for the rest of my life. Hey, that thing about that whole situation is that how quickly the media believed him and, like, put it out there as bad. Yeah. The story it's out. like that poor old kid up there in Washington that got beat up by the, <laughs> by the Native American. <laughs> he, even, he was just standing there. <laughs> yeah, I haven't retracted everything. They didn't like how he jacked out. I, I do have a MAGA hat, but I'm going to wear it every day. Oh, you got one? <laughs> yep. Dude, I want to I've also that. got a deplorable shirt. It oh, says no. I'm deplorable. like it. That's what it says. It says I'm deplorable. <laughs> well, that would be so funny. I'm also, uh, according to the last administration, I'm a veteran, so I'm a terrorist. Yes, so you're a terrorist. Horrible. Racist. If you're a veteran and patriotic, you're a terrorist. Well, if you wear the MAGA hat, you're automatically a racist. Yeah, I know. Um, trans. I think, I'll say this, I said it on my dadgum, I said it on my dadgum Facebook. I think America has lost its damn mind. I think people yeah. have just lost their damn mind. You can be an actor in Hollywood and have a wall around your house and be <laughs> at security guards at your house. And what do those security yeah. guards wear? What do they use for protection? Guns. But America cannot have a wall and America cannot have guns. No. That's what the actors say. Well, they all do the opposite of what they say. They're, they're socialists. Exactly. They, the money. <laughs> they live with unicorns and candy mountains. They live in a world. They start to believe that they are their, their characters that they play. They start to yeah. believe this stuff. I think they should just stick to entertainment and just quit trying to tell people how to vote and how to live. That's my own opinion. I don't like to tell anybody how to vote because that's not my business. X to the 8 plus log of y to the ninth minus what log of z to the ninth now the only thing you can do different here is power rule and you would bring each one of these out and that would be your final answer All right, do the use substitution with number 19. E to the 2x minus 5e to the x 
plus four. Now if this kind of melts your brain down. Always pick this like this guy right here, and make him equal to you, and then you'll be able to do the problem. <coughs> Unless you've been hit by a train and you can't understand that. Okay. Oh my gosh, what does her hat say? She's got a magnolia hat on. Does that count? The first three <laughs> letters are mag. That's racist. You're racist. <laughs> Thank you, Chay. You think you could trick us, didn't you? <laughs> I'm not wearing a red hat. She thought she could trick us. Where's Magnolia Farms? Hey, it's a witch hunt, man. Huh? We can't say it's that. It's in That's Waco, Texas. Them people are crazy anyway. You can't say it. They kill people out there in Waco. Dude, you can't say the witch hunt. That's the fence of the witch hunt. The was people that had a compound full of M16s and... Okay, no. I'm only reporting fact. I'm, I shouldn't be doing that. <laughs> E to the what? What are, what are we like going to do? This is U is equal to E to the X. And what is this? <laughs> U squared minus 5U plus 5 is equal to 0. And then finish it up. That's a whole So U and U. And that's going to be 1 and 4, and negative and negative. So e to the x is equal to positive 1, right? Yep. And e positive. to the x is equal to positive 4. Now, you could actually... You could do this. Now, this is why I tell people to do LOG, because of this one type problem. Let me go here. I'll make it a little bit smaller there. Okay, I'm going to do log base E, which is the natural log of E to the X is equal to 1. And log base E of e to the x is equal to 4. No, that's not right. I can't do that. I have to do both sides. Here we go. LOG on both sides. But, uh, LOG base e of 1 and LOG base e of 4. Okay, you've got to take the log of both sides. And then what happens over here? That goes out and you're left with x is equal to log of 1, which is what? 0. And then somebody take the log or natural log of 4 and see what you get. Get that one for you. What's the natural log of 4? Uh, 1.386. Okay. 1.386. Can you go over one more time the last step? Like after you got to. All right. First of all, turn back to the rules of logarithms that we went over. Everybody turn back in your notes. And I told everybody to go to the Google website or go to Google and look up properties of logarithms. Y'all remember me telling y'all that? Yes. How many of you did that? I did. Okay, good. All right, now look at the properties of logarithms, and I'll go do this, because I know everybody did it. I know everybody did. Like 98% of y'all. Okay, so I'm going to type in properties of logs. And just pick out, I'm just going to pick out images, and I'm just going to find here. I think that's the one that I picked out. All right, now look at the third one down here. 
I can't pull it up bigger because it's not going to let me. Okay? It says the natural log of A to the A to the R is equal to R. All right? I'm going to put the cursor right there, and I'm going to write it bigger. But you should have one of these for your test. And I told you all to write these down. I pulled this up. In fact, I think I pulled this one up. And I told you all to remember these three right here because those will help you when you do logarithms. You remember me telling you that? Because we learn these. Here's the product rule, the quotient rule, the power rule, and the change base rule. And then I told you, I said, these will help you in, you know, make sure you include those. All right, so let's go back to the question. Let me eventually go back to the question. Hold on. There we go. There's the question. Now, I've got these two answers right here. Ding. Whenever you see e to the x, whenever you see e to the x, and this is crucial if you're going into second semester calculus along with when we get to the calculus, always remember the natural law or LOG base E of E to the X. What does that rule say? That if these two match, what is all this equal to? X. It's equal to X. But if you take the LOG of base E on one side, you have to what? <coughs> Do it on the other. So here yes. it is, natural log of four, the natural log of one. Because log base E is the natural log. But the reason I write it log base E is so you will see that this right here, I'm going to highlight this in red, this right here basically cancels and you're left with X. So does that help you understand why I did what I did right here? Yeah. Okay. Right here, I did that here and here, and that's how I got X by itself. But what you do on one side, you have to do on the other. Okay? That's a good question. Good test question. Maybe I ought to put it on the test. There's going to be somebody that's going to go home and try to take this test today. And I haven't even assigned it yet. Oh, Lord, I just had to go back into the preview, so it might change all the numbers. I don't know if it's going to change it or not. What number was that? There it is. Is it the same one? See, it changed it. Okay, the next one. There's a quotient, difference quotient. You knew. I, I told I, did, did I not tell you what was going to be on this test? I told you uh, rationalizing. I told you logs. I told you difference quotient. I told you... Completing the square. Those are the four things that I usually put on this. And whether you're an engineering calculus or whether you're in this calculus, either one, business calculus. Now, I don't care about the first two. Y'all work around those. I don't care about those. I'm going to do the last one. Just like I did. How many problems did we do the other day with this? We did Where's two, it? I think. Just what, Tuesday or Thursday of last week? We did two of these. So you should have it in your notes. So I'm going to do the last one. So f of x, plus, so that one will write f of x. I'm going to do that. And remember what I did? I put it in blue. This is going to be in blue. And then red is going to be this one. So I'm going to take my blue. And put brackets right. There. These batteries are going out on these pins. <clears throat> did y'all hear what the Nigerians did to the boy? They harassed him and they put a noose around his neck. Did y'all see what the noose was made of? Swine. Yeah, like clothesline. 
<laughs> Many of y'all and, ever been to the and, city? And, what do they not have in the city? Hardware stores, okay? So you can't go buy, you know, regular stuff. So they probably went into anywhere they could and got this little clothesline stuff. <laughs> they, went to, they went to a big shop. And well, he also said they like beat him up, but he was still holding his Subway sandwich. Yeah. Like the whole time. In the, in the, cam, in the, in the video camera, he was holding his yeah. Subway sandwich, the other well, sandwich. I don't know where he got it. But all the way through the whole video, he was holding his sandwich. So how'd they beat him up? Yeah. <laughs> sandwich, unless he just, unless he values sandwiches more than the average human being. <laughs> <laughs> don't drop my sandwich. You can beat me up, but don't drop my sandwich. <laughs> <laughs> he's like he's like William Wallace. <laughs> and the commentator said, you know, if 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 somebody was going to put something around your neck, okay, let me talk to the women here. If somebody was trying to put something around your neck, what would you do? What are you taught to do? Scratch them their right what? Scratch their eyeballs out, right? Or that that too. Nothing <laughs> on his hand. No kind of marks. No. Policeman said he had no marks on his hand. I guess they just walked up yeah. and just put it on his neck. And, <laughs> Don't drop the sandwich. <laughs> I'm sorry. I'm, I just think it's totally bogus. He's All right, right so here we go. I'm going to rewrite right here. I'm going to rewrite my f of x seven with a big set of parentheses plus six. And then over here, I'm just going to rewrite f of x in red. And I'm going to put 7x plus 6. And then what am I going to plug in right here? x plus h. Now I use x plus h. And you can use x plus h, but just make sure you put a back in because we're working with sundial here and we're working with a book that really sucks. So you need to change it back. I'll be lenient. So now we get 7x plus 7h plus 6 minus 7x minus 6 over h. And what happens to the 7x's? And what happens to the 6's? And what are you left with? 7h over h, and that is 7. Question. Okay. Now, y'all can figure out how to do the first and the second one because y'all didn't figure that out because y'all told me what I was doing wrong the other day when I was trying to do it. I don't care too much for those first two. The next one is another completing the square, I mean, uh, quotient, difference quotient, so I'm just going to skip that one for right now. Um, a CD is bought for $2,000 and held eight years. This is not a CD like a compact disc. Okay, this is a CD like an IRA or a savings account. So you need to make that distinction because I guarantee you some of y'all are like, a CD? $2,000. Okay. <laughs> I guarantee you somebody was confused. Okay, and held eight years until maturity. What is the value of the CD at the end of eight years if it earns interest compounded what? Quarterly. Highlight quarterly. So this is where we use A is equal, and I, they don't give you the they don't give you the formula because web sign sucks. So A is equal to P one plus R over N raised to the N T power. Now remember, R is your rate written as a decimal. N is the number of times it is uh, <coughs> four, quarterly is four, and T is in what? Starts with a Y. E. Years. So if I give you six months, that's 0.5 years. Every time, every time you use T, it's always in years. So I'm gonna, I'm gonna do it, and then y'all plug it in the calculator. So that's gonna be 2,000. 1 plus 0 0.054 over 4 <clears throat> raised to the 8 times 4 is 32. Yep. So that's 2,000 
and you're going to do 0 0.054 divided by 4 equals, that's going to be, and then you're going to add 1 equals, and then you're going to raise that number to the 32nd power. And somebody tell me what that number comes out to be. 2,000 times, somebody give me that number in parentheses. 0 0.054, you're going to divide that by 4, you're going to hit equals. You're going to add that, hit add, 1 equals. And then you're going to take that number, which will be a decimal around 1, and you're going to raise that to the 32nd power. Somebody tell me what you get. That means I want y'all to actually do something. Y'all 3,071. Give me the, what's in the parentheses, please? No, I did, okay, never mind. I, I appreciate that. Point, uh, Is that Miss Youssef? Thank you. Yeah, I, you That's can okay. do it all one time without breaking it up. Oh, uh, heaven forbid you do that, okay? That's what I want you to do. But that, give me that final number. 3,000 what? It, it's next to it, 3,071.78. Oh, okay. I'm not even looking. Thank you. 3,071.78. And somebody, if you get that number right here, tell me what that number is. 1.554. Okay. That's good enough for government work. Okay. The whole point, like Miss Youssef said, you're supposed to take this problem and do it without even stopping. You should be able to do this right here in one or two steps on your calculator, you shouldn't have to write anything down. Thank you, Miss Youssef. You proved my point. Thank you. All right, now look at this one. This is probably going to use continuous. So is it continuous? Yes. Compounded monthly. What is the N if it's compounded monthly? 12. So n is equal to 12. What is the formula for continuous? Per. Remember me telling you about the shampoo? Yes, Hubert. No, yes. Hubert, you didn't tell us that. You want to that. Did I tell you about per? Per. Yep. Yep. That's continuous. And I just gave you the formula for So y'all should be able to do this one. I'm not going to do this one. I'm going to let y'all do it, and let's see what y'all get. Uh, P1 plus R over N raised to the NT power. And in this case, T is equal to how many years does it say? They, I guess they're assuming one year. Well, it's how long would it take investment to do? Ah, they want the T. Okay, so they want T. So they want you to solve for T. So you gotta you're gonna have to use logarithm here. Okay, interest, blah blah blah. So you're gonna have to plug in and use the logarithm. Because basically here you're gonna have a number, you're gonna have E and that's the T. So you're gonna have to take the log of both sides. And that's how you get that one. So go ahead and plug and chug. I'll do the second one for you. So that's A. Uh, still don't give you enough information. We don't have P. How long would it take a double? Okay, that would be 2A. So you're going to have to double 2A. How long would it take an investment to double? So that would be 2A is equal to, but they still don't give you enough information, I don't think. Has anybody seen this question in the homework? No. So if you're going to solve, you're going to divide by P. You're going to divide by uh, P. Yeah, let's just go with P. We're going to divide by P. So that's going to be 2A over P is equal to E to the RT. And then take the LOGE 
of 2a over p equals log base e of r t e to the r t I'm sorry e to the r t and what happens to this right here that goes out and you're left with r t is equal to log base e or natural log whichever one you want to use of 2a over p and then divide that by what r so t is equal to log base e or natural log of 2a over p divided by what r but i still don't see where you're going to get you you still have a right here i'm going to have to look that one up because i'm not understanding they're not giving you a has anybody seen this one no sir okay let's hold off on this one I'll, i've got to i've got to find this one uh 1.67 1.67 i need to find that one because i don't i'm not familiar with that question 1.6 Seven. Okay, people are fidgeting. Let me look at the time. Okay, according to my according to my clock, we've got like 20 minutes. Am I wrong? No, we have 19 minutes. Okay, I'm sorry, Mr. <laughs> okay. okay, hold off on 23. I'll I'll go over that Thursday, and then that'll finish out this this preview. Okay, and that way give y'all some time to. Okay, the procrastinators, y'all will have to go home and do like 15 sections of homework, and y'all will send in like 15 questions, and I'm not going to go over them because you procrastinated. Um, let's go to the bottom one right here. Okay, this is one like we just did. Compounded semi-annually. What is in? Two. Two. Okay. Two. Compounded continuously. You don't need that, but uh, that, that's the annual percentage yield. We went over that, 2000 to invest, but they don't give you how long. Okay, down here, five years and two years. We did one like this in class, did we not? Yes, sir. I think we did, and I gave you the, the formula. It's got parentheses, and it's to the NT you got to look up in your notes. I can't remember it because I'm not a business major. So, um, but it's somebody give me that formula right quick. Look in your notes. I don't want to look it up right quick. What is it? It's something one, one plus, and then it has parentheses to the NT. Somebody help me out. Look it up in your notes. I know we did it because this is the only class that we would do it in. That's it. No, it's not that. That's regular compound interest. Oh, I got it. You got it? What is it? Um, 1 plus R over N. That's it. 1 plus, and then the R over N is in parentheses, right? Yes, sir. To, to the, the what? N power. To the what? N power. There it is. Plus, or no, minus 1. Like, so the 1 plus <coughs> is in parentheses to the n power, and then all of that is minus 1. Sorry. Okay, give it to me one more time, Ms. Shuttleworth. Okay, in parentheses is 1 plus r over n, and all of that is to the n power. Minus 1? Minus 1. Okay, there it is. So make sure you write that down for that problem. And they only give you, and then down here, they give you the T, here's T, equal 5, and T is equal to 2. So that you have to do like four times down here, running it through with the with uh, <coughs> uh, compound interest, 
compound interest and continuous interest. And that's per continuous is per. Same thing right there. Same question. Okay. I'll let you write it down so you can be working on it. If you have $6,000 to invest, you have two options. One, compound monthly, so that means N is equal to 12. Compound continuously, that means per. Uh, calculate the annual percentage yield for each option. And then, which is better? And then, by how much are the two investment different? After T is equal to 3.5 years. T is equal to 3.5 on B. <coughs> And that's it. So there's 25 questions. Four points apiece. I don't know how many bonus questions I got, but let's say I don't have a clue on the math. What am I going to make? Everybody got that one? You don't have to write down every single word. Just write down the red numbers and then annual percentage yield and then T is equal to 3.5. And you have to subtract the two, subtract the continuous from the, or whatever. They just want a difference. So subtract the two would be, you know, plug and chug and subtract. Question. So even if you don't have a clue with this class, I don't know what this thing does. Does it give you a score? Where's my score? You did click the assignment. Up where? The assignment score. Right here? And refresh, or does it give it to you? Where is it? Exited out. Oh, yeah, I exited out. Okay. All right. It, it didn't get my... So how many bonus questions do we have? There's one, two, three... Four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, nine. So everybody should make a 36 or better on this test, will they? No. no. I'll have somebody make a 27 or a 13 or. And they're in business calculus. All right. Who's got questions? There's one question I need to go over. We'll go over that one Thursday. And maybe go over it one more time and then y'all are ready. I'll probably end the test, I mean the homework, probably Thursday. So those of you that's procrastinated, you probably have Thursday to midnight, okay? Any questions? And then we'll go over this and I'll go over that last question. Y'all get out of here. Oh, let me call the roll. I, every once in a while I do call the roll and we got some time. I got about 10 minutes, so... I want to go through the roll and take the roll because every, every once in a while I do this, okay?